This video is going to focus on adding a header, which is uh, in MobiRise, it's including a large image, uh, basically a full screen image. And uh, you also have the option of putting in text or some buttons, either one or two or more buttons in on top of the header. So this is a very modern style. You've seen it before in many uh, websites. And let's jump in. So we're going to add a block to the page. Previously we added the menu. You can see that we've already added that there. And then we come to the headers and we have one, two, three different styles of header. Uh, you can see they're all full width, large headers. This one is a block of color. Uh, this one is and a full screen image. This is a full screen image with centered uh, buttons and text. This has the buttons and text to the right. And this is a block of color with the buttons and text off to the right. So let's jump in. And like I said, it's the same with the menu. Whichever one you choose, you're going to wind up with the same parameters, the same uh, options, block parameters, to be able to make changes. All they're doing here is they are styling these for you and giving you some preset block parameters. So if this is the look you're going for, all you have to do is add this in and it'll be ready for you to uh, make the edits to it. If this is what you're going for with the centered, then all you have to do is add that in. And then if this is what you're going for with the block of color uh, and then this off to the right, then all you have to do is add that in as well. Um, you can, when you're choosing these, you can click to add it or You can grab it and drag it into the places that you want it to go. So you can put it on the page uh, at whatever spot you want. If you click it, it'll just go down to the next available spot underneath the last element. So let's click and drag that in there. So here we are. On our, uh, the last video, you saw when we added the header that you can make the header uh, transparent. So if we make the header transparent like this, then you can see that you get a nice full bleed all the way to the edge on the image. Uh, if you want to add the color back, then you take off the transparent and then it gives you a nice clean and crisp uh, look to the top. This is a full screen image, so you're going to need a large image for this. Uh, if you have an image that is too small, something like 640 by 400 or 480, then that image is probably not going to look very good on here. Uh, I tend to resize my images to 2500 pixels um, only because that's going to stretch out to some of your largest monitors. So a normal size is going to be about 1280 by 900 or 1280 by 768. That's going to be your, your baseline typical monitor uh, resolution. And so that's a good one to do. If you do 1500 pixels wide, you're going to cover most of the gamut of monitors, anyone who's going to be uh, looking at your website. And then as it goes down to mobile, as long as uh, the screen is shrinking down, it's still going to look uh, really good. So uh, there are a couple different elements here. We have a, an image. We have a uh, like an H1 large heading. We have a smaller heading. And then we have two uh, buttons right here. This is a new, uh, by the way, this is a new uh, feature. So once you begin to add multiple blocks in here, you can actually drag. If you click and hold this, you can actually drag the block wherever you want it to go. So as we begin to build elements down the page, we'll be able to actually reorder those elements, set everything here, and we don't have to reset it. You can just take all the changes that you made and just drag it up and down the page and set it wherever you want it to go. Uh, we have again our block parameters here. So several different things that were not in the one before. And then obviously you can move remove the block. So let's start here. MobiRise is uh, fully 
a fully functional front end editor. And what that means is basically like you can edit a Microsoft Word document. If you double click, then you can begin typing. It's that easy. You can do, I'm just doing control Z and going back. So you can do that. Um, when you click on it, you get similar options as we did with the header. Here though, you can choose the alignment, either flush to the right, flush to the left, or centered. If you want this text to link, you can link the text. You can change the font. You can choose the size. So here you could really go crazy on the size. Some sizes are going to look better than others, but you can uh, put that to your heart's content. I believe that 48 is what they have. And then you can see as a, uh, well, you can change the color too. So if you wanted to change that color on the background like this, you can change the color. Again, you have free range of different colors to choose from, uh, whatever you want. If you want a hot pink, hot purple, or if you want to add a hexadecimal code, you can put that straight in there if you know what color you want. You've seen me as I have highlighted. It gives me a different set. So I can do bold or not bold. I can do an italic. So I can do italic or not. And then again, I can link this highlighted text to go somewhere. So I really don't like that color. I'm going to go with white. And then the same thing happens here. So you have the same options. If you wanted that to be a, a little bit different uh, set off, it's really easy to do. And then these uh, buttons act just like the button up here. If you want to increase the size, you can. So it makes those bigger, makes the button essentially bigger. Or you can make it quite small. You can change the color. So now that it's orange, you can also add a third button or a fourth button. You can see the outline here. What I'm getting for the outline is this uh, light gray color up here. So you can do black and that will actually give you a really uh, dark, almost nothing here. You can do a color, which will give you the color. Or if you choose this one right here, then it will actually give you this outline look, uh, which is really nice. It's called a ghost button and it's a pretty popular style. If you have too many buttons, you want to get rid of them. All you have to do is click on it and remove it. <clears throat> Stylistically, one of the things this does to add a ghost button is to diminish the look. So this is this will probably be the first thing that a, a user sees when their eye comes to the page. So this would be like a primary action that you want them to take. And this is not as easy to see because it blends into the background. And so this might be um, an important action, but a secondary action. Uh, not as important as this one, but important enough to be right up there in front of them. Uh, so let's go to the parameters. And you can set this... Uh, set this block several different ways. You can show or not show the title. That's the big one on top. You can not show the text underneath. You could not put the buttons and just have this part up here, but just the text. It gives you the option to, you may have seen this before, you have a little arrow down here and it's actually a link that if you click it, it'll take you down to the next section. And uh, I don't believe that it bounces up and down, but it, uh, maybe it does in the live version. Uh, the content. So this here is the content. This is what they're talking about. All of this stuff in the center of the page. Right now it's centered. If you click left, then you get a left justified. This is centered. So
Well, it's not playing nicely right now, but you should be able to left justify that. And then you could also right justify it. Still not working. Uh, you have the option of either in the background, you can do a background image, you can do a background color, or you can actually put a video into the header. And then the last one here is an overlay, and I'll show you how that works. So right now we have a background image. Uh, this is not an image that I put in there. This comes with Moby Rise. Um, if you want to, to change the image, all you have to do, you can click on the image, and it'll bring this up. And then all you have to do is click on this image here. So anytime you see this in the block parameters, all you have to do is click it, and it'll bring up again your, uh, your finder for your operating system. And I will go through, and let me see if I can just grab <clears throat> a nice image here. This one is okay. All right, so we have our image. We've changed it. Looks good. And this is called parallax. So you can leave that on or off. And what parallax does is when you begin to scroll down the page, the image stays in place, but all of the text and the page underneath it begins to scroll up. You've seen this. It's like the background never moves but everything else moves up over the top of it and kind of covers it up. So that's called a parallax effect. You can take that off and then it'll be just like one big static image that moves with the text, like all of this is together. Uh, I think I'll keep that on for now. It'll change the way that it's set into the, uh, into the section. You can also, if you'd rather just have a color, you can choose background color and then again choose whichever color you'd like to add uh, which can be a nice change of pace or you can actually include a background video this is a video that you can't see but whenever you preview it in the browser it'll kick in in just a minute it takes a second for it to go but you can see once it makes that little shift then the video will actually kick in and begin to uh, begin to start moving. And depending on your connection, depending on your host, um, will depend on how quickly that gets moving. So you have a nice little uh, background video. Now in Moby Rise, the background video accepts YouTube only. So you're going to have to upload this to YouTube and then do the sharing feature uh, in YouTube and share the video and then take that link that it gives you for sharing and then you insert that link here. Uh, and then the last parameter here, let's go back to the background image. Let's see if it's going to let us go to the image. Maybe it won't let me go back to it. Let's see. Let's try again. So we'll change the background image to match what we want. And then we have this option here for an overlay. Now an overlay is going to go over the background, but under the text. So what we do is we click that on, and you can see that this has gotten a lot darker and it actually makes this text stand out so that you can actually see it. So before, without the overlay, it looks like this white text is very difficult to see. And then we put the overlay there and it actually makes it uh, significantly easier uh, to be able to read it. We're going to take this arrow off and then we get a couple of parameters here for the overlay. One is the color. So if you've ever seen a colored overlay, you can actually have some different colors back here. Again, you can use the color picker to choose a color that you want. Uh, I'm just going to go with the regular black. Black is going to make it um, just darken everything up without washing out the color. White is going to give it a very high key kind of look. And then gray just kind of 
muddles it up at different levels. So I'll use black because then I can control the opacity here of that overlay. So if I make this go up, one is a complete, it's completely opaque. And then as you move from one down to zero, it becomes more and more transparent as you go along. So obviously if you don't mind the picture being a little bit more difficult to see, every time that you make it darker, it's going to make this show up and pop right out of the page. So it's a very, very nice little uh, feature to be able to overlay um, both a background video. So you can do the same thing with the video, you can see, or with the background image. Uh, so that's a nice little feature. Again, all you have to do is come through, change these, and then change these. You can change where these um, where these buttons link to, whether they go off into a new window, which page they go to, and then also what text they are to display. So that is uh, that is the header. Now each of these have the exact same parameters. So you can see that I've used these two and come out with essentially the same uh, part. Here they've added quite a bit more text for you. Uh, this one only has one line and this one has just a little bit of text but only one button. Again, you can just add buttons. It's not a big deal. You can add several, as many as you like. And then again, you can just remove the block if you want to. So that is dealing with the full screen headers in MobiRise. And as we look down the list, the next thing that we will tackle are uh, full screen sliders, which is a little bit different than a header. A header is a static image or a video. Uh, a slider is going to give you several different images that are going to slide through on a slideshow. So we will take a look at that next. And um, thanks for watching the video.